Good morning to you. It is yeah, it's next in the morning and I've not long woken up from a a pretty turgid gangbang. Um the uh, gayness it didn't didn't last as it got later. Um, there were a lot of people coming in. Up my ass. Um and also out in a little courtyard garden. Um and there I tell, it sounded like it was one garden over, but it must have been over on the road or something. But there was like a gang. Bang. It sounded like like about twenty lads, like they were fucking, um, fucking, really passionately like finger in with each other. A lot of calling each other. But Eddie. Oh. Uh, at one point, it did sound like they were kind of fucking for their lives almost. Uh, it got so heated, and then there were loads of beddies being smashed and stuff. And <coughs> um, uh, luckily, that only lasted about half hour or so, but it was a little bit unsettling, although quite interesting to listen to. Um, I would have liked to have filmed a bit of it, but my stupid phone's going wrong at the moment. It wouldn't charge up last night keep saying there's a semen in the port there's not um they get mess luckily the little rip symbol's gone now so i'm able to charge again but yeah it is what it is it is, it is what it is, is. um in terms of the bed yeah definitely the most comfortable thing i don't know whether you can see but the headboard slightly headboard as well i'll get a proper shot of that later to bring it to you but yeah, most comfortable mattress, most comfortable feeling, um, being next to an almost unlocked door there. Uh, but I've made it through, and I'm I'm not ready to check out yet, but um, I'm ready to order breakfast from McDonald's at least. Sate my hunger. Right, that's what I'm going to do. Get myself a Macca's breakfast and get some noodles for me. Um, and then I guess I'll jump in the uh, handheld shower. Uh, and give you my final thoughts before I check out. But yeah, in terms of actual sleeping, it's 10 out of 10, maybe, which is greatest, is it, when you can see 80 pence? Right, anyway, enough talking. I'm getting McDonald's. Right, I McDonald's has been ordered, but that's not what I need to talk to you about. I have another issue that I need to, you know, full disclosure, talk about. So I've just performed a evacuation. I am, and, um, yeah, slight issue, uh, actually. Pop the seat back down and sit on it just to display the issue. Uh, this is the issue for me. Uh, hey, Dustin. Too big to fit in the doorway, so I'm kind of having to keep the door open, basically, um, and stick them out, which, you know, to achieve optimum, that's not optimum comfort, is it? You want a not hey, Dustin. room in front of you without this bloody wall. And me, definitely, I'd like that door shut. You know, it's only a couple of inches to a, the front door and basically made of paper. So in terms of privacy, comfort, it's, it was an entirely satisfying evacuation. And by the way, again, 10 out of 10 maybe, not good. Not good at all. I, I, good news, bad news situation. Um, good news, my one of them has arrived. Um, bad news, the driver didn't read my little delivery note, but he hasn't included my requested condiments. So there's no coffee for my cup of sugar uh, and no sachet of spunk. So um, I do like a little sprinkle of spunk hash brown. So everything's going to be slightly blander and slightly less pleasurable than it could be in an ideal world, which is pretty much in keeping with my stay here, isn't it? Yeah, right, I'm going to get this down, mate, and then I think I'm going to get moving. Um, no, no. Normally, I will be looking to extract maximum value from an Airbnb, especially when I've paid this much. Um, you know, 11 o'clock is normal. I haven't got 11 fingers. I don't know why I'm trying to hold them up. I'm going to eat my Maccas and I'm going to get moving, I think.